Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have some age gap romance recommendations for you. This is my fifth age gap rec video, so I will link down below all the other ones that I have in case you want more recommendations. So let's get into the new ones. First is a book that I recently read. This is Torn by Kieran Cole. This is about Tor and Kenzie, or Torin and Kenzie. Um, when Tor was 15, his best friends, the two his two best friends, got pregnant and had Kenzie at 15. So Torin was also 15. Um, this book takes place like years later when Kenzie is 18, 17, 18 herself, and it's their relationship. They did not have feelings for each other at all when she was growing up. They basically, in this like book, it felt like they grew up together because he was 15 when she was born. There is a 15 age difference between the two of them, so that's the age gap for you. Um, but it's about them realizing that they are meant for each other in this book. Now, when I first read the summary of this book, I was like, oof, is that gonna be good? Like, that kind of sounds, ooh, because like he knew her growing up and that's her dad's best friend, but it actually works out like perfectly to me. I didn't feel icky like at all reading this. And I didn't really feel that way with this book because they honestly did not have feelings for each other whatsoever while they were growing up. Like, no feelings at all. So I definitely like this one more than I expected to and it's such an interesting read and I definitely want to read number two in this series because I know that that one is an age gap as well but if you're wanting to read like a taboo age gap romance that's also dad's best friend, I definitely recommend picking up Torn. Next is Work For It by Talia Hibbert. This is an MM Opposites Attract Romance. This is about Griffin who is his village town's outcast. He's in his, um, I think he's in his early 20s, if I'm not mistaken. The other hero in here, his name is Keens, and he is just passing through the town. He's dealing with some mental health stuff, and he needs like a break from big city life. So he goes to this small town and ends up picking up a job at the ranch that Griffin works at. Before they got the job, or Keens got the job there, um, they actually ended up having having this like rendezvous moment in the alley of a bar and things didn't end up like end the night. They didn't end the night very well on amicable terms. They don't really get off on the right foot when they start working together. It doesn't really matter because they fall in love with each other anyway. <laughs> Talia Hibbert is such an amazing writer. Like I love this book solely because Talia Hibbert wrote it, but also because the story is fantastic. Keens definitely thinks that he's not good enough for Griffin because of what he's experienced in his past and doesn't think that he deserves a man as good as him. Um, but Griffin is there to take him and shake him basically to say like, no, we love each other. Like deal with it. I don't care. Like you're mine, I'm yours. We deserve each other. So I love both of them. Next is Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. This is about Farley and Meyer. They are both stand-up comedians. However, Meyer is Farley's manager and he doesn't really do stand-up anymore. Um, he's a single dad and ever since his daughter was born, he hasn't really gotten back into that scene, but he is very well known in the comedian world. So he's her manager and uh, she just got this amazing opportunity to open for a like very famous female comedian, um, but she needs like more highlight in the press. And her people think basically that it would be a great idea for her and um, Meyer to fake date so that she can get more publicity. So that's what they decide to do. They are like best friends in every way possible. They realize like, oh, their feelings are much deeper than friendship through their fake dating. Um, I also love the single dad aspect in here. It's great. And Meyer honestly thinks like, why would Farley like want him? He's an older guy. She's in her early twenties, just now making her name in the world. Like he would not, she would not want to be with an older guy who's also a father. And she's just like, nope, I want you and your kid. Y'all are fantastic. I want nothing more than that. Next is Fractured Sky by Katherine Cowles. This is the last book in her Tattered and Torn series but like you could totally read this one as a standalone. I do recommend reading them in order because it it like flows better for the story. Like for example, the heroine of this book, um, you read about what happened to her in book one in the series. In book one, the heroine's dad from book one um, ended up kidnapping her as a child. Our heroine right here. Ended up kidnapping her as a child and keeping her in a barn for many days. She ended up being rescued, um, but definitely that time period in her life traumatized her and her family. Her name's Shiloh and um, it's years later. She is in her early 20s, I wanna say, I think. 
and she is not having the best time still living at home on her family's ranch. She feels kind of stifled there and constantly looked upon. Her family is terrified that something bad will happen to her. And the only time she's able to like, kind of like feel peace is when she is sitting on Ramsey's property. He is the town grump, if you will, who is a horse rehabilitator. Um, who owns a ranch himself. He is significantly older than um, Shiloh here, I think like 10 years older possibly. But the only time that Shiloh is able to completely feel at peace is when she's watching him and his horses and they don't even really talk all that much. She just sits there and watches him. And then something happens to where Shiloh needs a place to stay and Ramsey offers up one of the cabins on his property and thus starts them finally like starting a even just at first friends relationship that develops into something more, like they are full on soulmates. I love them so much. Obviously there's Heartless. <laughs> Everyone knows about this book. This is about Willa and Cade. Willa becomes the nanny to Cade's, I think six year old son. And he is significantly older than her. Obviously it's an age gap romance. <laughs> Again, you have another hero who thinks that he's too old for this woman who would never want him. And the fact that he's a father and like she's a young 20 year old, I can do go do things with her life. Uh, she uh, doesn't need to be stuck on a ranch with him and his kid, but she loves being on the ranch with him and his kid, like absolutely adores it. So I love this one so much. That's all I really want to say about this. Like everyone knows about this book. So a fantastic nanny romance. Twisted Games by Anna Huang is another great one. <laughs> this is a royalty romance where our heroine in here um, is a princess. And this is a romance with her bodyguard who is significantly older than her. Bridget and Reese have developed feelings for each other throughout the years of Reese being her bodyguard. They constantly bicker. There is a class difference between the two of them and obviously the age difference, but that doesn't stop them for falling for each other. And they even like keep their relationship a secret. They don't really think much of it. Like it's not against the rules, but then uh, what happens when her brother ends up like resigning from being the next ruler? of the country. She has rules and protocols she has to follow being the next ruler of their country and one of them includes marrying a man who has a title. This is inspired by the Princess Diaries like two royal engagement um so if you're wanting a book with that those vibes definitely pick this one up. The age gap doesn't really play I feel like a huge part in here because I feel like they are very similar. Bridget is like wise beyond her years in certain aspects because of the way that she grew up and the fact that she was royalty. Um, so it didn't really play a major part in here, but there is an age gap. Fractured Souls by Neva Altaj is the next one. This is her sixth book in her Perfectly Imperfect Mafia romance series. And the age gap aspect in here, I can't remember the exact number of years of like the age difference between the two of them, but our heroine here is 18. And I think our hero is like in his 30s, I want to say. So there is a large age difference. Asaya was kidnapped a few months ago by some evil mafia men and forced into a very horrible trafficking ring. Then one night she has the opportunity to escape and she takes it and she like literally runs into the middle of the road, no clothes on. And our hero in here, Pasha, um, accidentally like almost hits her with his car because of it. She like runs into the middle of the road and he ends up rescuing her and taking her back to his apartment. Pasha has lived like an entire life of solitude. Um, he is a mafia man who is alone like he's never really wanted like company before but when Asaya is put into his home to take care of her like he's having a little bit of a culture shock because of it and also Asaya is dealing with some traumatic things and he's helping her get through those things. He's determined to help her help her heal and to hunt down the men who did this to her. It's definitely the darkest one I want to say by Neva because of the things Asaya experiences um but I love Pasha and how like absolutely feral he goes for this woman like he is going to murder anyone that stands in his way of being with her and murder anybody who touched her okay if you hear the lawnmower or the weed whacker they're mowing the lawn outside I'm so sorry <laughs> um but I have three more <laughs> I have three more left <laughs> hopefully you can hear me um, this is The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. If I'm not mistaken, I think the heroine of this book is in her 40s. She's going through a divorce. And um, this is her romance with her best friend's son, who happens to be The Pool Boy. He ends up oh, accidentally coming across her topless um, while she is sunbathing at her pool. Um, and that kind of sparks their um, relationship. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, it's a fun hot read. Nikki Sloan knows how to write a hot book, so. And lastly, I have like two Cassie Mitt novellas that I'll quickly mention. First is Clockwork. Killian is a world-renowned clockmaker and he's finding it very difficult to keep his hands off of his apprentice named Piper. Piper is over 10 years younger than him and is his best friend's little sister. So there are a few forbidden aspects in here but it's a great little Cassie Mitt novella read perfect for like winter time this whole series is it's a part of the winter warmer series they're not interconnected they just take place during like the snowy months <laughs> and the last one that I have to mention is Silver Fox by Cassie Mitt this is about Kara and Galen Kara has been Galen's personal assistant for years and has been pining after him and she has no clue that he feels the exact same way so this is just basically about them like releasing their pent up feelings and admitting them to each other. I don't know the specific age difference between them, but I do know that she's like half of his age. So that's the age gap aspect of this book. And if you want a quick short read, be sure to pick up these two Cassie Mitt novellas. Anyway, so you have it. Those were some age gap romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I would love to know. But if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any heart emoji in the comment section down below. <laughs> Oh, the weed whacker is still going. Anyway, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.